Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Well, we're still at the Ark Center Convention in London, trying to fend off a incoming terrorist attack. Uh, we've gotten the key card from this guard, which is what we needed to continue the main quest, but we still have an optional objective of taking out the rest of these guards. There's three more that you can see marked. Definitely want to do that. So if you get bored tonight. Yeah, I think I'll just wait for them to turn around. Getting close to just watching these people drink. Panic? Oh no, they saw it through the TV screens and whatever's in the way. Okay, let's try it again. I think I'm gonna go invisible. Maybe we're good here? Oh. Yes, okay. If anything happens that puts Storm Surge in jeopardy, do not hesitate to use lethal force. There will be no respect for collateral damage. We must not fail. From Old Blue Eyes, aka Marchenko. Follow him, see if they go somewhere safe. Hold on, maybe. Let's see. So fancy. Seems like they're ignoring the risk. I should check in with my editor. Something is about to happen. <laughs> yes. So do they just go from one side of the safe harbor initiative thing to the other? Not the most interesting number. How am I gonna get their attention? I need them to get like behind this thing. Right? But I also don't want the people down there to see. Um, hmm, maybe I should take this one out first, right, because these three people are all looking out the window, but this one's not, so if I take them out, like, right up there, this guard might see. Can I get them to come into the bathroom somehow? I mean, it's not a restricted area, so they're not going to just come for me without me doing something. Everyone who is anyone is here. Economies are only just starting to recuperate. They're pissing into the wall. Literally. Can't believe she should. <laughs> I agree with every word he said. Are they, are they having a conversation or are they just talking to me or what? I love this like crumbly texture though. It's really cool. Whatever. I'm here for the free food. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Where's this go? Oh, into the women's bathroom. And also, somewhere that probably doesn't matter for what I'm trying to do. Just trying to take out these two guards. Yeah, so there's two people here, so I don't think I want to try to attract them into there. Maybe into here? Is there anybody here? No. But the big question is... <laughs> is can I even attract them into here? I'm pretty sure that guards will not follow a noise if it's not a restricted zone. And, of course, can I even find something to throw? You know what? Let's just try something. Maybe it's fine. Uh. Hope the person down there doesn't see the body. No, we're good. Wow. I am amazed that was okay. Gentlemen, with the security threat we are facing, we decided to keep all the party goers on the lower floor. Uh, we've already read that. 
that's the mezzanine password 1515, which we've already done. Okay. Um. I could probably just yoink them over, couldn't I? Alright, Mac. I took care of all enemy units in the reception hall. The place is clear. Copy that. Moving into the catering area now. Okay, cool. God, I just I can't escape the feeling that a, that a civilian is gonna see any one of these bodies at any moment. They're so just like precariously hidden. Hold on. Okay, uh catering area, huh? Oh right, we failed the Liam Slater meet them because I think they're dead. Although we haven't actually found their body, strangely enough. Maybe. So where's the catering, catering area exactly? It's up two levels. Let's see. Okay. Let's go up over here. So it's on this floor, right? Yeah. All right, Miller, McCready. I'm inside catering. Jensen, I think my comms might still be fucked after that stairwell explosion. Are you getting anything from Miller? Negative. Miller, you hearing us? Jesus Christ, this whole fucking building's gone daffy. Wouldn't be surprised if it's in the air. Well, look, I can read you fine, so just keep me posted. I wonder if they've been taken hostage. Champagne is here. Sean, there are crates, not cases, crates. Oh, we've already read this as well. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Whoa, 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 get out of my way. connected to. Uh, apparently I connected to a television somewhere down there. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Just looking for bio cells, really. Connects to the other room that I've already been to. Who's that? Are they alive? They're showing up as green. That means they're friendly, and if they're showing up at all, I think that means they're alive. 
I'll take this person out though. user. Uh, Victor arrived undetected. Delivery from Diwali on-site as expected. Delivery of champagne on-site as expected. Set up remote command terminal in storage. Advanced team infiltrated Tarvo security forces. Slava infiltrated network. Security and defense systems ours. We've taken control of the Apex. Awaiting your arrival. Please advise ETA. Excellent work, Roland. ETA 12 hours. Be ready. Roland, I've set thermite charges in the stairwells. Nothing structural, don't need to bring those plays down on us. But just enough to wake up anyone trying to access the party from the lower floors. Slava says he has control of the elevators, so we shouldn't have any problems with unwanted guests. Getting to work on Site B. Now that's gonna be a show. Ooh, security stash keycard. I'm pretty sure I already had that, though. I feel like I've already gotten that. Just used to access a security stash. I don't even know what a security stash is. What is that? hers. Bad. I need backup in the Cato area. Jensen, Christ. <sighs> Don't try to move, Jim. Help you be on its way soon. No. No. Forget about me. <sighs> You've got to find Brown. Warning. <sighs> the, the gold mask. They, they poisoned the champagne. Send it to meeting rooms. Beyond the, the reception hall. <sighs> Tried to stop her, but I ended up here. <sighs> Creedy, the orchid is in play. We need to. Uh! You should be dead, Adam Jensen. Instead, you show up here with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. So, poisoning Brown and the delegates, that's your plan B? Sorry, brother, it's not gonna work. You only see a piece of the picture. Maybe you can save those rich bastards. Maybe in some grand hypothetical future, doing so will erase the damage that has been done, restoring liberty and balance, improving the lives of millions of augmented people like us. But tonight, because of you, hundreds of men, women, and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition hall right now, maybe I won't have to. We can avoid another unnecessary tragedy, brother. Provided you don't take too long to reach me. McCready. Bombs. I heard. I don't know if I'll find him in time, but I'm already on it. Fucking hell! Shit. I gotta get to the residential hall. Gold masks. Uh, really did a number on me. <sighs> Brown was meeting with members of the UN Security Council behind closed doors tonight. Need to find them immediately before it's too late to save them. Or stop Marchenko. It blow up the residential towers surrounding Apex Center, sacrificing hundreds of innocent lives if I don't face him immediately in the exhibition hall. <sighs> I'm gonna stop Marchenko. So yeah, there are actually two quests. 
Oh, I think these are the final quests, by the way. Um, I, I was wondering how long this game was, and I heard that there's 17 main missions. So this is six, the 16th, and this is the 17th, so I think we're, like, right at endgame. Okay, um... Where is the exhibition hall down on floor one? Not really sure the best way to get there, but... I should probably make a hard save here, just in case, I don't know. Just in case I want to try doing something else. They said time was of the essence, so I feel like if I don't go there, like, really, really right now, that, um... It's probably gonna fail that part of the quest. Wait, so how do I... Uh, how do I get there? It's... Oh, exhibition hall this way. Something's wrong, Mr. Jensen. Brown and his guests are in danger. I... I no longer have eyes on them. Marchenko's threatening to blow up hundreds of innocent people next door. Only hundreds? If Brown and his guests die, billions of augmented people will be stripped of all rights and classified as less than human. You cannot let that future occur, can you? Shit, that's a good point. The lives of the few against the lives of the many, etc., etc. I'm, I'm gonna commit to this. We'll see what happens. Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! I'm right here, Victor. And you're done hurting people today. Mm. Yeah! Hurting them. Murdering them. We're in death. It's the balance of victory for men like us. And I still have one death to wear! Watch for the debris! Let's go, Shiny! You will have to come out soon! I hit him in the head when it was totally, they were totally exposed, but that doesn't seem to have done anything. Oh, shit. Okay. I gotta do a takedown on him, I think. And I'm guessing they're, I'm guessing it's not gonna, gonna be as simple as just getting them and pressing Q. I'm probably gonna have to shock them and then do a takedown on them, like the, the big exosuit people. Alright, um, we need to take lots of painkillers to make our health, like, double what it otherwise would be. Um, yeah, take a biocell. Okay. Are you still can? We're up. Enough of this! McCready, 
Bomb threat's neutralized. Marchenko's down, and he won't be getting up for a while. Great. Leave me the honors of cuffing the bastard. What about Brown and the delegates? I'm heading to the meeting room now, but chances are it's too late. I'll let you know. Jensen out. You know, since this is endgame, I should probably spend my praxis, huh? But I mean, on what? <laughs> is there really anything that I'm gonna use? I guess I could get more health. I don't know. I'll make it so the recharge delay is shorter. I'll make it so I fortify better. Um, I'll get the Icarus dash. And then what's this? Charge dash. Allowing the user to reach cover points and ledges or ram into targets. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, so what is that assigned to? F4? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think I want that on F2, actually. I'll make that F2 and I'll make this F4. Yeah. Pew! Pew! I could also just give myself more health, but eh. Actually, I've taken a bit of damage. It's, I mean, I have so many hypo stims and so many painkillers, like, it doesn't even matter. Oh, even okay, so where are they? I just need to find them. Behind closed doors tonight. I need to find them immediately before it's too late to save them. I don't suppose it's marked? Oh, it is actually. Alright, so I don't really need to find them then. Uh, so I need to get to the that elevator. Does that elevator connect to here, though? It doesn't look like it does. Looks like that's just the elevator shaft? I think I need to get up to level 4 and then make my way over here. Yeah, okay. Is this the right floor? Uh, this is level 5. Eh, that'll be fine, right? Maybe? Possibly? Wait, this is an elevator, but that's not THE elevator, right? No. How do I get there? Level 4... I guess I do jump down? Oh. Ah, yeah, so it's blocked off from this way, so... If I can't go this way, how else do I get there? Yeah, I think it's back through here. Which is where I found... Yeah, where I found McCready. Or not McCready, um... Miller. Yeah, we go through here. Yep, meeting rooms. Oh, shit. I don't think now is the time for sneaking around and getting, like, every little thing. There's no point in going that way. No, nothing yet. We should be starting soon. Look. The evasion of the guests won't take long. We just have to make sure no one... Gotcha! This way, right? Executive lounge? Yeah, we need to make it to the elevator, so yeah. Although there are stairs that look, they might lead up there. Uh, let's just go to the elevator. Holy crap. 
crap, there's a lot of them. Spotted. Our friend from Garm is back from the dead. Everyone be alert. Just scare him by turning the TV on or off. I'm not sure which one it was on before. Might need to become invisible to move past him. I think so. Like, I would love to do slow down time and just trank them all, but I, I can't do that. They're wearing masks, and I think they'll probably put on their iron skin or whatever that's called um, as soon as they find out dangers afoot. No. We're going this way. As we consider the importance of this, they haven't drank it yet. On a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian Nobody level. Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us. But what about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb.
Nobody even snuck in a, a little sip? God, lucky. I've unlocked New Game Plus. I locked the next difficulty level. Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations it stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? We won! Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. <sighs> Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Picus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. Marchenko knows things. Put him in a cell, it might convince him to talk. Put him in the morgue, we get nothing. Let's hope his bosses aren't as smart as you are. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you, he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting, face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? This report just in. Law enforcement officials in Prague have tracked down and captured the bomb maker whose deadly explosive devices claimed the lives of dozens of innocent travelers earlier this week. The woman, an ex-army demolition specialist named Alison Stanek, appears to be a religious fanatic and leader of the tech cult group, Church of the Machine God. Police arrested her and several of her followers inside the cult's headquarters, following an extensive investigation. If you ask me, folks, that is some very good news indeed. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. 
Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not ARC. He was trying to kill ARC, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikolatze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikolatze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samostat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samistad rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks. No matter what name these people go by, there is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. Turning our attention now to a more colorful story. A recent incident inside an illegal underground drug laboratory has led authorities to the heart of Prague's neon operation. According to sources familiar with the new drug, the dangers of Neon had more to do with illegal distribution methods and criminal ties than with consuming the drug itself. Make no mistake, folks, Neon is illegal, and the dismantling of this laboratory is good news for everyone. However, some government officials have hinted to me that the drug may have therapeutic benefits, and if so, a government-approved version of Neon could be made available to the public eventually. Further testing will be required, of course. So only time will tell. That is not the point. We should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut Collective, or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. 
It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Hmm. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. And it's only a matter of time. Let's wrap up with some thoughts on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. So when I first started playing this game, I knew it wouldn't be the sort of thing that I would find really memorable. And I suspected that because it's pretty much the same as Deus Ex Human Revolution, the previous game, which I've already played. So it's kind of just more of the same without any real major differences. It didn't get super good reviews. I was thinking it would be something kind of like comfort food. Not necessarily that interesting, but just satisfying, you know? And that's exactly what it was. That's what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for anything amazing. I was just looking for something fun to play. I just wanted to sneak around in the shadows and do cool stuff. And I got to do that. But what surprised me is that I actually liked it more than I thought it would. I knew I'd find it pretty satisfying, but there's actually some things about it that are downright pretty damn cool. Some of the stuff that stood out in particular were a lot of really cool visuals. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful game just in general. But there's a lot of particularly neat looking futuristic things, just like light installations and I don't know, just future stuff. A lot of it looked really cool and pretty and I just like staring at it. So I was really impressed with the like the, the design of the world. I was also really impressed with the quality of the missions. So there's not very many of them. There's only 17 main missions and I'm not sure how many side missions, but definitely less than 20. And none of them were kind of pointless, right? There were no fetch quests or just any small kind of menial busy work tasks. It was all stuff that was actually genuinely interesting. So they definitely went for quality over quantity when it comes to the quests, which I really appreciate. I think one of the most satisfying things about Deus Ex for me, both Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, and I guess also somewhat similarly the original Deus Ex even, uh, the most fun thing for me is sneaking around and just slowly picking off people until I have the entire place to myself. That is so satisfying, and that's exactly what was so satisfying about Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Just seeing a brand new place to explore, and especially like puzzle box places like the Palisade Bank, which took me, what, I think like three full episodes to explore because it was so large. Just going into a space like that and going into vents and finding passcodes and computers and all these hidden pathways and taking out guard after guard, sneaking around until I pretty much have the run of the place, that is, is so satisfying. And that really never got old, even by the end of the game, even after playing for about 40 hours or so. I just love that. It's so satisfying. There's a lot of things I didn't like about the game, especially smaller things, nothing that really affected my enjoyment too much, but uh, I think the biggest thing I didn't like is Adam Jensen as a character, and also my ability to roleplay them. So here's kind of the, the crux of the problem. Adam Jensen is like a, a non-antagonist. They're, like, they're barely even a protagonist. They have almost no personality whatsoever. They're so strange. They're not a complete blank slate, right? It's not like, I don't know, Gordon Freeman from Half-Life where they don't even speak, they don't even have a voice, they're just a 100% blank slate. They're not quite that, but they're the most watered down character you could possibly have. They are mostly monotone, almost, they show almost no emotion. They have almost no opinions, just some vague kind of police sort of, we should save people and expose organizations for corruption kind of opinions, that's about it. Like, they have some very, very weak personality. And that's about it, so they're mostly a blank slate. Which just makes for a really uninteresting character. Adam Jensen is just downright boring. The fact that there's such a blank slate makes it even stranger that you can't really roleplay much of anything. 
you know, if you're going to have a blank slate character, which I don't even really think is a good idea, but if you're going to have that, then at least have the ability to roleplay them as you see fit, you know, make, make your own character. But you can't really do that, just in small ways. In any conversation where you have the ability to use that social enhancer thing, in that case, there's no roleplaying at all. There's just the right answer and then the wrong answers. So with conversations that use that, there's no roleplaying whatsoever. Um, most conversations don't use that, though. But even for the ones that don't, most of your ability in conversations are just uh, getting extra information that you don't need to progress with whatever you're doing. Right, you can like choose one, two, or three extra options to get more info, or you can just press continue. That's mostly it. A couple times you can choose to like bribe somebody or try to persuade them, which invokes the social enhancement augment. Or sometimes you can choose whether to like scold somebody or educate them, or judge them or something like that, or defend yourself. But those were pretty few and far between, and you really just can't roleplay Adam Jensen very much at all. I also felt that the balance of the difficulty was a bit off for my playstyle, so I played it on the hardest difficulty that was available on a new game, which is basically one up from normal difficulty, so I guess the equivalent of hard. And it wasn't hard at all. I mean, at the, the very, very first mission was very difficult for me because I had like barely any augments and I didn't know what I was doing, but pretty much after that, once the game opened up and it was more open world and I was left to uh, explore as much as I want and find all sorts of bonus stuff and extra things and do side missions, at that point my playstyle in this game of being a completionist and going into every single room and getting every single thing I can, it seems like the difficulty, even on hard, was not tuned for a completionist playstyle because very soon after doing that, I ended up with just, like, so much praxis I didn't even know what to do with it. I couldn't even spend it on anything that'd be particularly useful for a stealth build, which is what I was going for. There were combat abilities, but what's the point? I'm going for stealth. Going for non-lethal. Anyway, I think I'll wrap up here. So, I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and thanks for watching. <laughs>